So we'll start here in fold one. We have a diagonal plane and we're folding this top left triangle down into this bottom right triangle. In fold two, we have a horizontal plane and we're folding what's left on that bottom row up into this piece right here. In fold three, we have another diagonal plane and we're folding up into this triangle right here. And then we have one hole punch. So if we draw that hole punch on fold three, two, and one, it always ends up on paper, so we can draw it right away here in our grid. And now we'll work backwards, so when we undo fold three, the piece of paper that was initially folded up was this triangular piece right there, and since it includes that one blue hole punch, it needs to be reflected back down over that diagonal plane. So if we draw that same diagonal plane right here in our grid, this blue hole punch will be reflected over that line to end up right here. And we can see that that pink hole punch ends up on paper on fold two and on fold one, so we know it exists here in our grid. So now we'll undo fold two, and the piece of paper that was initially folded up was this bottom panel right here. It was folded up into this piece right there in green, and that piece only includes that one pink hole punch, so that's the only one that needs to be reflected back down over that horizontal plane to end up right there and that green hole punch ends up on paper in fold one as well. So we can draw that same horizontal plane from fold two on our grid and reflect that pink hole punch over. And lastly, we'll undo fold one. So all of these hole punches here need to be reflected back up over that diagonal plane. So we'll draw that diagonal plane from fold one right here in our grid. This blue hole punch exists on that fold line, so we'd just be filling in that other half when we undo that fold. This pink hole punch would be reflected over to end up right there, and this green hole punch would be reflected over to end up right here. So this is our final pattern, and that matches up with answer choice D, so D is correct.